Hey everyone, Jahani here. I just want to do a really quick video about these totems that I make. I have to actually extend one, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you how they work. I um, hate moss bowls, and this is something that you hear me say frequently. I hate moss bowls. I used to make all my moss bowls myself. I tried purchasing some, and I hate them all. So the reason I hate them is, first of all, I find them really, really messy. Then they start shedding, and then they get out this algae growth, and I find they don't really work that well. They dry out too fast, which doesn't allow your plants to grasp onto it, which is like the whole idea. And especially our climate, where it is so dry, they just don't really work, unless you have a crazy high humid environment. I never liked moss bowls. I didn't use that many at all to begin with, and I always was looking for a better alternative. I tried a bunch of different things, and I'm still trying new things. I like to just experiment and play with my plants and figure out how to best help them grow in this environment where there's snow on the ground outside because we're not Florida, you know? It's completely, completely different growing up here. Yeah, so <laughs> long story short, I just wanted to find ways to help my plants grow to the best of their ability in the Arctic. So I came across this fabric. It is sort of like a speaker mesh fabric. Uh, they're great, I love them. I've been using them for now over a year, testing different fabrics and stuff like that. The one that's been on it the longest is my Cebu Blue. So this is a, believe it or not, Cebu Blue. Same Cebu Blue that everybody has. It has been growing on this totem for probably uh, a little over, not even a year, not even a year, because I got it in May of last year. It is absolutely grasped onto it. So this one has already been extended once. So you can see this is the original pole down here. And this is the pole that it's, I added onto it. And you can see there's no Velcro holding this plant into place at all. This plant is completely grasping all by itself to this fabric. His roots are like crazy. He is so, so happy on this thing. And it's just, it's great. You know, and this is how you get the fenestrations and the pretty big leaves and the splits and everything like that. So this guy has been on it for the longest. I kind of wanted to show you different plants that I have on them. So you can see that I've been experimenting a lot. So this is a uh, Philodendron Glorious, which is a cross between Melanochrysum and Gloriosum. And this one I've had for a lot less longer. And I have noticed with all the Philodendrons on this fabric, that they need a lot more humidity and a lot more moisture in order to grasp onto anything. So with these guys, um, I probably, so I keep these plants in one of my tents and one tent is really high humidity, like 90%. And then the other one is like 60 to 70 and these things still work. I have not tried it in this room, which is 60-ish, maybe lower. Um, but the fact that it works for 60 to 70 is kind of cool. So um, I probably spray them maybe once a week. I'm not really regular, I'm horrible about that because I get busy, but um, this one I've been trying to spray regularly. So this is Philodendron Glorious, and you can see that I do have Velcro holding him up here and here and here. And I did notice that this growth right here wasn't grisp grasping and I'm pretty sure that's because I wasn't spraying it that much. So I'm trying to at least spray it once a week, maybe twice a week. And the top one is starting to actually grasp onto it now that it has, um, I'm spraying it regularly. And I do have a bunch of these plants or different plants growing up a wall made of this fabric, which is how I started playing with it in the first place. This has kind of helped me figure out which ones grasp easier and which ones grasp not as easy. So like I said, I definitely found the philodendrons to be the least graspy unless I make sure I stay on top of the watering. Whereas Monstera, Epiprenums, and what else is on there? I don't know, but they all, they all grasp on a lot easier. And then let's move you over here. Uh, so this is one of my favorites. Hello. Um, so this is my Monstera Syriana. I got this guy as a two or three leaf top cutting that was air layered. So he wasn't completely rooted when I got him. And I have had him on the, the pole since I got him. And this guy loves it so, so much. You can see how it is completely grasped onto it. There's no Velcro holding anything in place. 
and it's just wrapped its roots around there like it's candy. It loves it. So Monstera seemed to grasp on really, really well. All right, so the one that I want to put on is not in here. Where are you? I thought I brought you in here. Where'd it go? Okay, so the one that I want to extend the pull on, this is another um, speaker mesh fabric that I was experimenting with and it works just as well. The fabric that I use isn't really readily available. This fabric is a different color and the plants love it just as much. But this is my little Albo Epper Premium and so I just have to extend it because as you can see, he's starting to outgrow this pole and he's pretty much going to um, the next couple growths he's gonna be in another spot so let me show you how i switch it out and one of the reasons why i love these poles is how easy they are to keep on using them and extending them and having your plants grow up them we have the mr albo here so i take out a bamboo pole so this is a shorter bamboo pole we have the two different sizes in the store right now this is without a pole so I'm not repotting it. It's staying in its little tiny pot because I keep everything in tiny pots. And what I'm gonna do is grab a larger bamboo pole, which is this one. And I wanna put it in this way. Let's not knock anything over. There we go. It does have a little branch in there, which is not ideal, but we'll figure it out. Okay. So that is in there. And this is how easy it is. You just, I mean, this is really tall. <laughs> and then you get the other pole over it. And there you go. That's it. So now you can continue growing up the pole and have a grand old time as it continues growing. So you're not ripping anything out, you're not adjusting it. All you do is just add another pole. So that's why I love it. So now I'm gonna go put everything back where they go.